BML History Series AS British History Part 1 Why did the British become so heavily involved in the slave trade? Well the main influence was the mass consumer market. As more and more people moved into the towns and cities they became bustling metropolises, London being a prime example of this, which expanded from a population of 600,000 to 2.5 million during the 17th century. All this increased population resulted in a higher demand in goods, known as the mass consumer market, which d demanded sugar and tea from the colonies in the Americas and the manpower required for the plantations to supply this insatiable demand was slaves from Africa. In 1686, one million pounds worth of goods was being transported from the Americas to Britain per annum. To put it in perspective of today's terms, that would be around 100 million pounds. Britain mainly traded during the 17th century with the Virginia in 1607 and Barbados from 1625 where some 350,000 people had emigrated to. Before the British colonies had migrated to the Americas, the indigenous population that was comprised of what Americans today call Native Americans, whereas in actual fact these Native Americans are the true Americans and the Americans today are descendants of the British, French and Spanish colonists. What was imported and exported to and from these colonies? Well, there was sugar, tobacco, rice, tropical wood, fish oil, whale oil and furniture. This triangular trade or trade network in the Atlantic was based solely on the Navigation Act, whereby only British ships with British crews could trade with the territories of the Empire, effectively preventing any form of foreign trade. This did have its advantages and its disadvantages. The advantage was that by trading within the Empire they could retain all profits made and prevent foreign competition. However, by preventing this foreign trade, the amount of tradable goods was limited to the capacity of goods produced within the empire and, the limited, and limited the amounts of profits that could be made. There were some cases of Britain trading with foreign powers in Europe such as Spain and France, but the potential for profits here were far less than those in the Americas. By 17, 1797 to 1798, the majority of Britain's trade was conducted with America and the West Indies. For example, around 57 of British percent of British exports went to the West Indies and around 32 percent were imported back to the mother country or Britain. Britain's navy was, was expanded as a consequence of its increased involvement in the slave trade known as the virtuous circle which was a follow-on from Charles II's blue water policy. Virtue Expo expanded the navy in between 1689 and 1747 from around 100 ships to roughly 272 ships, which comprised of 157 battleships and 113 cruisers, or frigates which, would patrol, which could patrol the oceans faster than an entire battle fleet. There was what historians mostly agree upon, a symbiotic relationship between the merchant fleet and the Royal Navy whereby the merchant fleet would, could expand the trade network and their share share of trade profits, which could then result in an increase in income through the trade taxation and revenues for the British government, who could then use this extra income to finance a larger navy to protect the extra trade routes and thus give the opportunity for further expansion. This video was created by Link Studios for bestmikeylearning.weebly.com to see more of these videos, either visit our website at, web, at www.bestmonkeylearning.weebly.com A link will be posted in the description below or visit our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.